What is going on YouTube? So this is my 93 Honda Accord, which a lot of you probably know by now. Uh, this is my turbo setup. And currently we are making more power than it has ever made before. That being said, man, one thing I neglect a lot on this car, which you'd be surprised, is oil changes. I do not change the oil on this thing worth crap. So today we're gonna change that. We're gonna go ahead and get this knocked out. I have a Honda OEM filter and I have the good old fashioned Rotella 1540 diesel motor oil. That's what I run in this. That's what James recommends and that's what I've been putting in it since it's been turboed and I haven't had any issues yet. So I'm gonna let it run a little bit, get a little bit of temp into the oil, try to get it out easier. And we'll you turn it around, get it into the shop, drain it, see what it looks like and Get it changed out, maybe go do a little drive around and stuff. Got the drain boat loosened so we can position this full jug in the right spot. Make sure the little drain plug is open. See about draining this bad boy. See how black this. Yep, she's uh, she's pretty black. She is pretty black. But not that bad though. That's not that bad. It's black though. I mean, I I need to do better, guys. I mean, I don't I don't drive this car that much, but that's no excuse because. This is an E85 only car and the E85 gets into the oil and it just it turns it into a more watery like broken down substance not not straight oil so I mean I can smell it I can smell the corn in the oil so definitely need to do better I'm gonna try my best to start at least changing it once a month maybe once every two months uh, Cause I do want to try to drive this more often, and again, it is making the most power it has ever made right now. So I definitely need to try to do all the maintenance to keep this little F23 as happy as possible. We do have hella oil leaks though. Go ahead and let this drain good. Stick the boat back in. We'll get that filter off. And again, I'll show you all that Honda OE filter that I picked up. That we're going to be slapping back in and i'll show you that rotella 1540 diesel oil that i use in case anyone was wondering those things that's what again that's what james recommended and that's what i've been running in this thing for uh going on three years now so uh it's been good so far no complaints so got the old filter off as you can see right there and here is the genuine honda filter um, I think if I'm not mistaken you can get these cheaper at Honda if I'm not mistaken but um, I got this from I think it was AutoZone so I probably did pay some type of tax on it but either way it's good to get man I, I didn't I didn't have one on it before so it'll be nice to transition over to a genuine filter I think the car appreciate it but yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and get this slapped down. As far as engine oil goes, this is what I use, which is Rotella. Uh, it's got T4 reduced engine maintenance, 1540. Uh, it's, it's supposed to be for tractors, trucks, all that type of stuff. So uh, yeah, but this is just, this is always what James has recommended. This is exactly what I put in it. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this thing topped off with this fresh oil.
Looks like the front is still a little bit high. I gotta adjust it some more. But guys, yeah, that's pretty much gonna be it for this video, man. I, man, driving it through those corners a while ago made me really think like, maybe this may do pretty good on Tail of the Dragon. These new T7 Corlos from Max Speed and Rise are no joke. They are super stiff. And on the highway, you don't feel it so bad, but driving through this bumpy driveway of mine, man, like I can feel them, like it's just, and, and that's because I have it all on max stiffness and everything, so that's how I kind of like to keep it, but uh, these things are definitely a lot stiffer than what the ones that I had, like the entry level basic adjustable coilovers are. So if you're in the market for something more sporty and more like uh, if you're trying to get a little more performance out of your car, then I definitely, definitely recommend the T6 and the T7s. Again, I do have the T6s on trap and it, this may be just a tad bit more stiff, but uh, you can't really tell a big difference between the T6 and T7 Other than I love the color combos of both, but yeah, that's pretty much gonna wrap it up, man Let me know your thoughts down below, man. What do you think about this going to the Dragon? I already plan to take the CD5 this year, but it's not out of the question Eventually we might can try to bring this up there, but I do want to do like a like a um, a CL break upgrade and try to get, I, I don't care about the fire look stuff. I'll let you guys have that, but I do want to do the rotor in the front, like not to, to get away from this captive rotor setup on the CBs and the, you know, the older generation of cores and switch it to like the 99 style where you can just pull the rotor off and switch it. I want to do that and possibly if I can find some rear disc brake conversion setup and do that but i do not care to go five lug i just i like these wheels man I like the way it looks on these wheels I, I don't really care for something crazy aftermarket the only thing that we may do in the future which will probably be whenever we get a better transmission is i do want to change out the two front tires for like a grippier tire but to do that i do need another transmission and i also need a traction bar for this thing because i'm still on the stock radius rise and stuff and i do not have the polyurethane bushings in the front either i gotta try to see if i can get jeff to hook me up with the link for those so that i can get them maybe that'll help stiffen it up some but other than that man i mean the car is just it is what it is man this is pretty much how this thing i want this thing to be as far as performance goes and again eventually when we get everything out, like pretty much sorted out i think the ek is going to be my last car that i actually build and swap on the channel for, probably maybe for this year unless something quick flip comes up because i do want to try to get paint work done on a lot of these things so i got a lot of paint i need to do so we'll probably try to do a bunch of that stuff this summer try to get everything looking better as long as everything runs good that's good but Anyways, guys, if you're excited for what's to come, make sure you smack the like button for me down below. I know a couple guys do want to see this on the Dragon, and we probably are going to make it happen, but I don't think it's going to be this year because I think the family's going. So we're going to take the CD5. It's got AC. It's a lot more comfortable, so probably take that, and then we'll see about the turbo car. But, yeah, I will catch y'all next time, guys. Remember, respect our bills. Peace out.